How's it going guys? Jake here. Welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. As you can see behind me, we got Chris on the tractor. We got some tree work today. We are back at a property that we were at, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, a couple months ago. Um, we've been clearing all the trees for them to put in a pool. The pool is in and they need more trees cut down for like stormwater runoff or management or something. Got the international here with the chipper. Uh, let me show you what we got going on. All right, guys, here's the plan really quickly because stuff's already going on. Joe's up in the tree over here. This beach that he's in needs to come down. This tree needs to come down. That tree needs to come down. Pile of wood is in the way. Pool has been put in. We're working in really tight quarters. Not the best scenario here, but we're gonna get it done. Guys, we got a brief lull in production here. This is the guy that's making us do all this. <laughs> Just kidding, what's up? All right, guys, we got a brief lull in production here. This is this job is a real killer. Joe is hard to keep up with in normal circumstances, but we're dodging wood piles, we're dodging propane tanks, machines, other trees and stuff down in the woods. Um, this, this is this is a real doozy of a job here. Uh, but we're getting it done. Joe is flying. This tree goes way out over the neighbor's driveway and stuff, so we're gonna be rigging those far pieces back into this beech tree that he initially climbed here. And then we still got this birch here to take down still. Uh, but we're getting through it, and uh, I'm gonna throw you back on a time lapse or something and uh, try and capture most of the footage, but I'm just having trouble keeping up with the brush, nonetheless moving the cameras around.
Okay guys, that whole last clip, by accident, I thought I was filming in time-lapse through slow-mo instead, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use that. But uh, basically, we're making good progress here. We've had to cut down a lot of trees just to get to the three main culprits, being one, two, and then three over by Joe's hard hat uh, to, to make room to get these puppies down. So right now, we're on the last one that hasn't been brushed out yet. Um, we got a rope in it. I don't know if you can see going all the way back down to Chris where there's a block and he's attaching the chipper winch to it. So we're gonna try and drop this puppy hole. It's a black birch all the way back into the woods. And then hopefully we can suck it up using the uh, chipper winch or the tractor. All that's gonna go for logs that we're gonna pile up. Um, and then we'll chip up the brush and then we should be good. Uh, we're in a lot better shape now than we were in the beginning. Um, so things are going good. I'm gonna try not to mess up and get this on actual video now. guys we just took down uh, there were three small beech trees over here that were like behind where the porta potty was 
We took them down because, I don't know if you guys have heard or not, or if you're in the tree world, you might know, uh, beech leaf disease is uh, caused by a nematode, and it's very new disease, and they're not really sure how to cure it yet. Um, there are a ton of beech trees on this property, and they're all basically slotted to die probably in the next year or so. Um, so while we were here, uh, we I just recommended that we might as well take all this stuff out before they do nice landscaping and stuff back here. Um, it's easy enough. We have the machine. So we just pulled them out with the Wicked Grapple, got a pile on them here, and uh, we're going to shoot the chips back into the woods with everything else. All right, guys, that is a wrap. We, we got a lot done today. I mean, this whole area was basically woods, and now it's opened up all for this landscaper to come in and dig some French drains, essentially. Uh, it's what it sounds like, um, storm water runoff management. Um, cut down a whole bunch of trees. How many trees do you think we cut down, Chris? Uh, like Big trees, probably big, like... Big trees... Eight little trees, a lot more. A lot more. A lot, lot more. more. Um, why don't you leave that thing here? Because I want to blow all this into a pile and then lose it in the woods. All right. um, so, yeah, that's going to be it. As you can see, they've got some machines here, you know, to dig out the stumps and everything. Made a pile of logs down there for the homeowner to get to once he's done, I'm assuming, splitting up this stuff. It's got quite the pile of wood here. Um, and, yeah, I mean, we... This is a really good customer of mine, and we have a lot more work to do in the front as well. But uh, that's pretty much gonna wrap this one up. So that's it for this one, guys. Appreciate you guys watching, tuning in. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button down below. I know a lot of you that watch the videos aren't subscribed. Um, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Questions, comments, feedback, throw it down in the comments section. Uh, for now, I'm Jake. You saw Joe and Chris doing a lot of tree work, busting their backs today. Really appreciate it. This is Dude Ranch DIY. We'll see you here next time.